From the Center for the Arts Studio, this is your AU TV Sports Break. I'm Matt Salvucci. Thanks for tuning in. In National University Athletics, the baseball team has received their first National Coaches Poll ranking. Of the top 30 listed, the Eagles came in at 14th in the nation. This ranking comes just shortly after head coach John Shaley hit the 2000 career games coached milestone. Shaley and the team are currently 12-2 on the season after losing their most recent game at Davenport at home on March 17th. The Eagles will look to rebound from the home loss and continue climbing the pole rankings when they take on the 4-12 Notre Dame Falcons on March 20th. On March 19th, the March Madness Tournament had its first four games tip off. These first four games are played over two days in Dayton and featured the 416 and 410 seeds competing to determine the position on the bracket. The first two games were played on March 19th with the 16 seeds Wagner and Howard and 10 seeds Colorado State and Virginia. The Wagner Seahawks earned their first tournament win in program history by holding off a late stage comeback from Howard and ending the game 71-68. On the other side, the Colorado State Rams recorded their first tournament win in 11 years after Virginia failed to put together any sort of offensive attack. The second half of these first four games will begin at 640 on March 30th. And in national news, Japanese baseball legend Shohei Otani has made his MLB debut for the LA Dodgers in Seoul. This match is an MLB season opener and the first game since the Dodgers signed Otani to a record-breaking $700 million for 10 years. The highest of any MLB player and among the highest of any sports player ever. Otani is widely regarded to be one of the best to ever play the game, highly skilled in both pitching and batting, similar to American legend Babe Ruth. This skill has led to worldwide fame, and when it was announced that Otani would be playing in Seoul, the tickets for that game sold out instantly. During the game, Otani contributed to the Dodgers' 5-2 win over the San Diego Padres with two hits and a run batted in. The Dodgers and Padres will face off again in Seoul on March 20th, where fans will eagerly wait to catch a glimpse at the Japanese superstar. And that is it for your AUTV Sports Break. Be sure to follow us across social media at AUTV. I'm Matt Salvucci. Thanks for watching.